Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm looking at a brand new mod called Blue Palace Garden. It's by Dionysi300. One of my viewers, Paul, recommended it to me and we are right on top of the Blue Palace. So, literally right on the top. The only mods I've got in the area that are kind of nearby that might have an effect at the moment, Solitude Docks and more particularly this one, which is Dengarin's Blue Palace Terrace. Oh my goodness, I love this mod so much. I mean, look at it. I've already done a video on this before. So if you haven't seen it, then do check it out. By the way, when I was down there in the courtyard there earlier, um, I found a gardener, which I'd never come across before. Not sure if it's uh, been added by the Blue uh, Palace Terrace uh, or by this one. Either way, it's fab. And what you get for this uh, mod are these wonderful clockwork greenhouses. They are stunning bits of kit. I mean, just check it out. So gorgeous, aren't they? Um, so, yeah, you need clockwork installed. And if you haven't played that mod, can't imagine what's taking you so long. It's truly stunning. That great big building there, by the way, behind the dome, that's Monolith by Skyrim Laz. I know people always ask, what the hell is that? So, let's have a look indoors. So there are two of these gorgeous glass houses, complete with irrigation. How fab. All this lovely deco. And obviously the entrance is down into the Blue Palace itself. And I've currently got a little bit of an issue with that, actually. I don't know why at the moment. Oh, my lighting's suddenly gone super bright um, inside. Oh, yeah, this one, by the way, this Botanical Garden Mansard. This is also added by this mod. I had to Google what a mansard was because I had absolutely no idea. And it's to do with the roof shape, apparently. If it gets really steep at the bottom, it's called a mansard. Who knew? So look at that, there's an arcane enchanter and an alchemy lab, plus a bed. Very nice. Two beds. One for me, one for Inigo. Speaking of whom. So yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> right in my face. Okay, we're going to have a quick look at the other one. You can see there are bugs in here as well. And the water off. I've had enough. So it's quick hop, skip and a jump to the other one. Just round here. And this one's even more spectacular. You've got this really nice sitting area. How lovely is that? This looks like a mini lighthouse. And as you can see, the pipework is awesome. Very nice. Nice space, don't you think? And then you come into the greenhouse proper. It's full of beautiful plants. Cherry blossom. Again, another way into the blue palace. Another irrigation system. And another mansard. And this one's just got a double bed in it. I love that. It's like a little mini home with gorgeous gardens. I mean, not to love. And then this stone staircase just takes you up to this area here where there's not a lot up here, actually. I mean, it would have been cool to have had an enchanter up here, maybe. Just like, you know, in the other one. And so just a bit of storage, really. And that's it. Sorry, I'm getting stuck on my wolf, as usual. If it's not the bunny, it's the wolf or Inigo. <laughs> like the stonework in this marble, though. Very nice. I don't honestly know what my favourite greenhouse is. I think it's probably this one. Just by virtue of that sitting area. But it's so lovely, isn't it? Wow, look at that. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you with that view. You can just catch the fireplace over the left-hand side and the beautiful garden. I'll call that the end of this wee video and say thanks so much for watching. Thanks to Paul for the recommendation. And I'll see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.